Hello friends, my name is Shayaz Bhatia and you are watching Bhatia's Training and Consultancy. Today we are going to see the fourth lecture on percentages and again the difficulty level will be easy. Up till now we have seen 10 questions and today we are going to see the last 5 questions in this category and later on we will move to moderate category of questions. So let's start. Please solve this question by yourself and let me know if you are getting the right answer. Know guys that you have reached to the right answer. If 25% of a number is 75 then 45% of that number is. Now usually such kind of questions are asked and these are very easy questions. So let's see the solution. So solution let x be the number. So 25% of that number is 75. This is given. So 0.25 x equals to 75. So basically x becomes 300. Now generally please don't solve at this step. You can take x equals to 75 by 0.25 here. Because calculating and getting to the right answer will take some time and consume your time. But calculations should be kept at the last moment so that you would be saving your time. So let's see. Now 45% of 300 would be 0.45 into 75 by 0.25 and now you need to calculate and you will get 135 as your answer. I hope guys that you have understood this answer. Now let's see the 12th question. What is 20% of 50% of 75% of 70? Now this question has no shortcuts. You will have to calculate it. So please pause this video and calculate it right away. I hope guys that you have reached the answer. So let's see the solution. So now in this question 20% of 50% of 75% of 70 is been asked. So basically 0.2 into 0.5 into 0.75 into 70 is need to be calculated. So the answer comes down to 5.25. Now let's see the 13th question. Mr. Ram is worried about the balance of his monthly budget. The price of petrol has increased by 40%. By what percent should he reduce the consumption of petrol so that he is able to balance his budget? Now again this is a very very easy question and we have already seen such kind of questions in previous videos. But here the words have made the question difficult to understand. Here the simple logic is increase in price reduction in the consumption is the question. But with that story it becomes very complex for us to understand. So let's see the solution. We already know it. Using the formula we get reduction in the consumption by R by 100 plus R into 100. This gives 40 divided by 100 plus 40 into 100 which is equals to 28.56 percent and here you get the right answer. I hope guys that you have also reached to the right answer. Now let's see the 14th question. Preeti sells her goods 25 percent cheaper than Shweta and 25% dearer than Divya. Dearer is basically higher. Dearer is basically higher. So Preeti sells goods 25% che cheaper than Shweta. For example, if Shweta sells it for 100 rupees, then Preeti sells those goods for 75 and 25% dearer than Divya. For example, Divya sells it for 100, then Preeti will sell it for 25%. Mind here, and is used. So the basic subject that is Preeti is always there. You need not to confuse between Preeti, Shweta and Divya. We are only talking about Preeti in reference to Preeti, Shweta in reference to Preeti, Divya. How much percent is Divya's goods cheaper than Shweta's? Please try to solve this question. Now if you haven't reached to the answer yet, let's see the solution. So in the solution, let Shweta sell goods at 100 rupees. So now Preeti sells those goods at 75 rupees. Now this is 75. Now this 75 is 25% dearer than Divya. Divya's price into 1.25 because it is dearer. So Divya's price we will directly get. So Divya's price is basically 60. And now we have to compare Divya and Shweta. Shweta is basically 100 and Divya is basically 60. So required percentage is 40%. And as I've already stated in the previous videos, assuming 100 when no numbers are given is the best practice for this chapter and you can see that as well. Now let's see the last question for today's video. 
In an election between two candidates, Ravi Kant gets 65% of the total valid votes. Now, the most important thing in the sentence is valid votes and there are only two, two candidates here. If the total votes were 6,000, now valid plus invalid is 6,000. What is the number of valid votes that the other candidate Shailendra gets if 25% of the total votes were total votes were declared invalid? So basically out of 6,000, first we will have to reduce 25%. So first we will calculate that number and those remaining votes that are valid votes, 65% votes were to Ravi Kant. So basically 100 minus 65 would be 35. So Shailendra got 35% votes only. So we need to calculate that. Let's see the solution. Total votes is 6000. Invalid votes is 25% of 6000 that is 1500. So basically total valid votes becomes 4500. 4, and Ravi Kant gets 65%. So other candidate gets 35% only. And hence 35% of 4500 is 1575. So that's your final answer. I hope guys that you have understood each and every concept of this chapter. Now once we move to the moderate questions, the difficulty level will go on increasing as well as the complexity of the question will increase but the basics will be the same. If you have any doubts, please comment in the comment section below and get your doubts cleared. If you haven't yet subscribed to our channel, please do that and don't forget to press the bell icon. Please like, share. Thank you.